Church members in Marion County opened their doors tonight for a prayer vigil held not only for the victim of a sex crime, but also for the teenager arrested in the case. TV 20's Howie Zell shows us why people feel both parties should be prayed for. More than a dozen neighbors and friends gathered at Mount Zion United Methodist Church in Reddick asking for healing for an elderly woman who investigators say was sexually battered by a North Marion High School student. Thank God for her community that loves her. They read scripture, sang, and prayed together as a community. We just wanted to show her that we care about her and that we're praying. And the praying started as soon as we heard it. You know, we, like I said earlier, we don't wait to start praying. Prayer starts immediately. Marion County deputies say 14-year-old Jesse Stone entered the woman's home, punching her several times before sexually assaulting her earlier this month. But God got her, and if God did it then, he can do it again, and he kept her. Stone was arrested for felony assault and sexual battery charges after confessing to deputies who say his DNA match samples taken from the scene. She's always the same with a smile. She will uh, speak to you regardless of who you are. She'll have a conversation. The group also prayed for Stone. But you know what? God got it. God got him. Maybe this will touch his heart. Maybe his heart will be changed because he said he can ask daily, Lord, give me a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. He can ask God to forgive him. Neighbors tell me the woman is currently with family, recovering safely. Reporting in Reddick, Hawa Izel, TV 20 News.